jewelry, my nails painted, my outfit. My hair's been growing. You can see it. It's a little bit darker from when I first cut it last week. It's been a week. So it's been nice. Um, I don't know. I like wearing this hat. I do miss my hair, but we're growing out. We're growing it out beautifully and slowly. And I'm enjoying not having to fix my hair, to be honest. I have a lot more time. And at the same time, I don't. Because <laughs> we're staying busy, trying to learn new skills. And um, also making time for yoga and meditation and nature walks, earthing. I've also um, been keeping up more with my garden. Got some squashes, one squash specifically growing that's like this size of my hand. Some muscle building, all those water bottles we'd be carrying. Oh, yeah, that's where I was going with this. So, learning new skills to um, create passive income, and that's what I'm learning right now. And making time for at the same time, still having to work and uh, pay off investments and bills and whatnot. But it's all fun. It's an adventure for sure. Um, I'm ready to not worry about money so much, so we're getting there. And we're also doing the inner work, so our schedule is pretty busy, kind of hectic, but taking it step by step. I left my smoothie in the car, but I made myself a banana kale plant-based protein smoothie I was uh, trying to give Noah not trying to give it to him I was just showing him the kale and he was like ew he's something else but I love him still and yeah I can't wait to spoil him more and be able to spend more time with him that's one of my goals but yes we're giving ourselves lots of self-love i did my nails last night haven't done them in a while i don't know i'm just when it comes to work eating and sleeping and then having fun in between that it's like eh, it's my nails aren't that important <laughs> But um, taking the time to do them makes me feel special, so we will do them more often. For the most part, I eat pretty good. That's why I have pretty, not, not perfect skin, but pretty clear skin. I don't get many pimples, but once I start eating anything that has dairy in it, um, anything with cheese then that's when I realized that um, pimples pop out and I noticed that it's the food that I'm eating yeah this is how it is in the middle of the city it's empty in this park today I guess it's the time it's like three in the afternoon I guess people are still at work or at work at the moment and I'm big chilling over here <laughs> just waiting for an order but yeah 
that's my life right now. Um, hopefully I'll have time to edit these videos. Who knows? I'm gonna try to edit one right now. And yeah. Post a week in my life to show you little bits and snips of what I'm doing and what I'm thinking. My love life right now is just me. And my mom and my sister and my other sister. I'm trying to spread light and love. My hairy armpits. But yeah, this is where we are at the moment. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day, enjoying it as much as you can, <sighs> even if you're at work. Um, I love to daydream and starting to dream a new life into being because whatever you think about um, grows more or manifests. So. And also your words manifest. Apparently they're real spells whenever we talk, so watch your language because <laughs> it could come back to you in a karmic way. I truly believe that. And at the end of the day, it's all BS, belief systems, so the world is infinite and incredible i can't wait to learn more about it and get out of the matrix that's another thing we're trying to do lots of things i have so much in my head but when i try to explain stuff it's like okay what else can you tell me about this to be honest, I can't tell you at the top of my head. It's all in there, but I can't. I mean, I could take the time to think about it and tell you. <laughs> but now I feel like I'm just rambling. Anyways, just my advice is learn, research, do your own research, learn and listen to yourself too, question everything. And even question yourself because we're programmed by others growing up and um, even um, up to today, there's, we're still being programmed in a way, I think. But if you don't let yourself be influenced, um, and believe me, I am easily influenced. That's something I have yet to work on. <laughs> but I'm getting more clear with my boundaries and what are my likes and dislikes. At the moment, I'm focused on my goals and that's something I really like to focus on is my goals and achieving things. I'm very achievement oriented, I've realized. And that brings me a lot of joy. In my birth chart, talking about astrology now, um, I my houses are mainly family oriented. So I always thought, being a Scorpio sun, uh, I had to not I had to, but I chose to be in relationships to try to find that perfect family for myself and. I didn't have perfect families, but I had very beautiful families, um, very beautiful people around me. Um, and I regret uh, cutting ties off, but at the same time I don't because I wasn't being true to myself. I wasn't really being my authentic self in those relationships. And I'm discovering little by little more and more of 
what I really want in life. Which, don't get me wrong, I do want a family, but at the moment, I'm, nev I I'm not ready for a relationship. Um, and I admit that. I admit I'm not ready. I don't want to be in a relationship right now. And I'm okay with that. I'm accept accepting of that. And the main relationship I want to be in right now is just being with myself and learning more about myself because since I was little, I, I, ha I felt like I had to be a certain person to get approval from my family and obviously we um, grow up dependent on our family members so we'll do anything and anything to connect with them and that was part of um, that was basically part of my process of growing up and ending up here where I am today wanting to not um just let my life be in a way controlled um, but not controlled because I mean I'm choosing to do what I do how can I ex describe this like not letting other people's opinions control my life in a way and trying to be more free <laughs> trying to have a more open <sighs> posture to this, but, um, you know, I'm just trying to be me, and I want to be loved for being myself, the way, just the way I am, with all my imperfections, and love, and I'm trying to do that for myself because I've um, externalized a lot of my love depending on others and um, adapting to others needs instead of realizing what I really need and that's what I'm doing right now self-discovery and um, having a more intimate relationship with my soul and Finding out what I'm here to actually do, because I've destroyed a lot of things and I've set myself on fire, but like a phoenix, I'm rising and <laughs> I'm a fucking phoenix and I'm going to rise from the ashes and create different identities for myself if I want or not and find out how I am able to serve humanity in a useful way. Yeah. I want to help others but first I have to help myself before I can do that so we're doing <laughs> anyways just my little rant for today uh, wanted to share a lot of light and love to you whoever's watching beautiful souls um, all of you are such beautiful souls we all have that light potential within us and it's just about discovering it for ourselves and finding that out for ourselves so i wish you the best of luck in your journey and i hope to see you in my next video and see we'll, where life takes me and i'd love to see where life takes you if uh, you're interested interested in sharing a little bit about your life i'd love to see my viewers um, lives as well and see how we resonate so yeah from Dallas, Texas, I tell you.
Have a great day and much love and light to you. I'll see you next time. Bye.